welcome to ECLE Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning from two mathematics and our topic for today is linear motion. So we are going to be looking at velocity time graphs. So for the previous lesson we looked at distance time graphs and we were able to draw a, a graph using a distance over time. And then we interpreted the graph depending on the questions that we were given. So what about in the case where you are given velocity and acceleration? How can you be able to interpret that? Graph? So velocity time graph. So in this case, you notice velocity is plotted against time. It is important to see how the plotting occurs so that you don't interchange the x-axis and y-axis. So unlike for distance time graph where the distance is against time, this is velocity against time. So keep that in mind. So the distance traveled in the area under graph. Um, so in this case, you can see it forms like a trapezium. So you can still be told to calculate the area of this distance that is under the line. And then the acceleration and deceleration can be found by finding the gradient of the lines. So you notice the velocity increases gradually up to a constant uh, point and then decelerates. So you notice these values, if you do the acceleration calculation, they will give you negative values because they are decelerating. Let's look at a sample question. So you have been given this uh, table. And what we want to look for is we are going to calculate the acceleration uh, in the first three minutes from minute one to three and from min for minute seven to ten. So the first thing we do is draw the graph. You can see our time is from zero to eleven. So you check from your table if you are able to get that. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. So it's going to work. So you start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Of course, you draw a straight line. And then our velocity begins at 0 and the highest is at 40. So let's see the spaces that we have beginning from here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So at least we get to 20 here. And then 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So if you were to use the 21 because it's more closer to 40, it means that you take a uh, a velocity, uh, distance of, we can pick um, 2, 2, 2, uh, that one will work. So we can start with uh, 0, 2, uh, 4, 6, 8, 10, uh, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, and then 40. You see how it works? 41, 42, sorry, then 44, then 46, and so on and so forth. So just pick the scale that is good for you, the one that is not going to struggle with getting values quickly. So let's put on the point. So time at zero, and the velocity is also at zero. So the first point is at the origin. And then at minute one, this was supposed to be one, then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, then twelve. So minute one, minute uh, one, which is here, it's going to be at ten. So this is where it is, and then minute two, this is it at twenty. 
and then minute three at 30. Minute four at 40. 40 here. Minute five at 40. Minute six at 40. And then minute seven at 32. Thirty-two here, and then minute eight at twenty-four. Twenty-four is here, and then minute uh, nine at sixteen. Which is here, and then minute ten at eight is here and then minute 11 at zero which is on its, on its own so this is what we have so you can see how it forms a very good diagram so you join using lines so i'm still joining uh, so you can use a ruler to join the lines going to be something like that and also we join the the other points as well mine may not be that perfect but you you get uh, what we are trying to do so after that you can be told to calculate acceleration from minute one to minute three so seconds that is seconds one to seconds three so first of all you see the acceleration is change in velocity or a change in time and we start with the final velocity so you go to second three and you go up from second three so let's show that in our in our graph so you can do so like this when you're answering your question use dots go up on the graph using dots up to where it touches which is at 30 minus the final that's the final minus initial which is at one minute one so you do the same with minute one which has is at 10 so 10 and then changing of time final time is three minus initial time is one so this gives us 20 3 minus 1 gives us 2 by 2 1 by 2 10 which is 10 uh, it's going to be meter and then the next question is 7 minutes se se uh, second 7 to 10 so we do the same so change in velocity over change in time so our velocity final so we are going to go to sec 10 seconds once again as i said you make sure you show in your graph how you got your answer by drawing the dots to the point which gives us eight so final is eight minus the initial which is at seven second seven so you go up with it up up Make sure you show. It's at 32, so minus 32. Change in time is going to be now final, which is minute 10 minus initial, which is seconds, not minutes. So this is, you notice the upper number is smaller, it's subtracting a smaller from a a bigger number so this is going to be negative 24 then 10 minus 7 is 3 so this is going to be 24 divided by 3 which gives us negative 8 so you see the reason why you are getting negative values as you can see the velocity is decreasing gradually as you can see from uh, from uh, at 40 meters per second it's going downward that is from minute uh minute eight is is going a uh, second four seconds it's going downwards so
so at seven seconds going downward so that is what we call deceleration so that is the reason why you get your answer as negative values so you have many questions on this and mostly how to draw the graph and interpret it in the app and also not on the same so make sure you check them out try them out using a ruler and a graph paper and just see how you are able to work them out see you in the next lesson